A bright sunrise will contradict the heavy fall that weighs you down. In spite of all the funeral songs, the birds will make their joyful sounds. You wonder why the earth still moves. You wonder how you carry on. But you'll be okay on that first day when I'm gone. Dusk will come with fireflies and whippoorwill and crickets call and dead. Every star will take its place in silvery gown and purple shawl. On that first night when I'm gone, you will reach for me in vain. You'll be whispering my name as if so. But life will call with daffodils and morning glorious blue skies. You'll think of me, some memory, and softly smile to your surprise. Give it time, we'll both be fine when I. our special guest for this week. Who do we have, hon? This week we've got a great fiddle player, songwriter, and artist named Justin David. Hey everybody, my name's Justin David. I'm from Marshville, Missouri. I grew up uh, playing music all my life with my brothers and sisters in a bluegrass band. Uh, started out playing the mandolin when I was five years old and uh, picked up the guitar and fiddle along the way and uh, still playing everything today. Couldn't be more happy to call my career in uh, music. And uh, it's, it's been a great time. Well, on my fifth birthday, my grandparents gave me an old mandolin that had been hanging up in their house. And uh, I started playing around with that. And my dad, every morning, we'd get up and over breakfast uh, before he went off to work, he would whistle these uh, old fiddle tunes. Uh, that he knew. That became my repertoire of music, you know. I'd learn one, then I would learn two or three more, and finally it just kind of grew to where they knew that uh, I had some musical talent. So uh, they ended up getting me a little bit better of a mandolin, and then uh, ended up getting a guitar and a fiddle, and that kind of began my musical journey. 
I guess I was about 11 or 12. My uh, older brother and older sister and I put together a, a bluegrass band called the Bertaldi Family Bluegrass Band. And uh, we traveled through Missouri, Oklahoma, and Kansas, and Arkansas doing the bluegrass circuit through the summer times. So rather than uh, mowing yards, I was able to uh, play bluegrass festivals and uh, fiddle contests and, uh, and uh, make, make my summer wages uh, playing music. When I, uh, when I graduated high school, I thought, well, this would be a great opportunity for me to try to do this for a living. Uh, so that's what, I, that's what I did. I moved, uh, Branson, Missouri was only a couple hours down the road, so I moved down there and was a member uh, of several different bands and theaters uh, over a four-year period. Uh, and then uh, shortly thereafter got an introduction uh, to Roy Clark and was actually, he, Roy gave me a call and asked me if I wanted to go out on the road and perform with him. Well, 2005, I moved to Nashville and shortly after moving down here, got a call from the producers of Nashville Star and was on uh, that season, season three of the show and uh, was a top five finalist in that. It was a great experience for me and got to work with a ton of people on and off the stage. And It gave me the confidence that I could be front and center with my music and uh, when the red light went on that TV show, it was like being shot out of a rocket ship. I've really got the best of both worlds because I go out every year and do my own shows uh, across the country, but then I also get to perform with Roy Clark, Joey and Rory, uh, the Jimmy Fortune Trio, Colt Ford. It's been a really, really great experience for me to get the whole uh, 360 type of deal here in the music industry, and I, and I love that. It keeps everything real fresh. Get up, gas the truck, chores are never ending. The family is so important because uh, we're gone on the road upwards of 200 days a year and uh, you have to have a supportive wife and supportive children and my wife Abby and I have two beautiful daughters, uh, Miley Mae who will turn four this coming August and uh, we've got a brand new baby in the house, Molly Marie is just now four months old. I always say they give me a lot of songwriting ideas so uh, they may not make it on the royalty part of it but I'll have to give them credit somewhere down the road. Arkansas State Park ahead, picnic lunch in my old truck bed, going back where I first met the girl from Little Rock. She had a basket packed plum to the top, a checkered cloth will mark the spot where the question will be popped to the girl from Little Rock. Chestnut hair, soft and wavy, beard, green eyes drive me crazy. I'll never take for granted what I. With the girl from Little Rock Now my daddy said yes Her mama just cried We cut the cake and the knot was tied Gonna spend my life beside The girl from Little Rock Outside of town on a dead end road With trees to trim and a yard to mow I have fun reaping what I sow With the girl from Little Rock Chestnut hair, soft and wavy Beard, green eyes drive me crazy Never take for granted what I've got with the girl from Little Rock. Now she'll have one kicking in a month or two. We're decorating pink or blue. I'll be adding all the room for the girl from Little Rock. Chestnut hair, soft and wavy, beard, my green eyes drive me crazy. I'll ever take for granted what I've got. With the girl from Little Rock Well, I can't believe the day is here The waiting room, it's full of cheer Holding hands, I'll share a tear With the girl from Little Rock Well, then the doc walks in and says it's time And it ain't long till we hear her cry A baby girl who looks just like the girl from Little Rock Chestnut hair, soft and wavy Beard, my green eyes drive me crazy I'll ever take for granted what I've got Love brought us all together How could like it any better? On my knees each night I thank God For the girl from Little Rock It's a love that'll never stop With the girl from Little Rock
Well, when we're not singing together, my wife has an apron on and she's down making biscuits and cooking with my sister Marcy at their little restaurant, Marcy Joe's Meal House. Let's go see what they're up to today. Y'all come on in. Stay wherever you want. Well, I'm down here with Roy's sister Marcy down at a little cafe that we own together. And today, what are we going to be making? Today, we're going to be making our carrot cake with our cream cheese frosting. Great. That sounds wonderful. Well, I'm going to start here in this bowl with our dry ingredients, our flour and our sugar and our soda and our salt yeah. and our cinnamon. This is a recipe that comes from my mom's recipe box, which yes. is really great because the thing I love most about it is that I always have these recipes in my refrigerator and in my pantry, so I can always just whip one up really fast. So while I'm doing this, we'll add in my carrots and all the wet ingredients. Okay. What are you going to be doing? I'm working on the cream cheese frosting, which is basically it's confectioner sugar, butter, mm -hmm. and um, some vanilla extract, which I have here. And so I whip that together really good. Well, what happened last week at the restaurant? I was out. We were out on the road. Oh, so anything big happened? It was so sweet. Old man Jack, he come in and uh -huh. it, it was so sweet. He, uh, he, he had his hand covered over his mouth and I said, what's wrong? And he took his hand away and he said, I ate some shrimp last night and it's, uh, he had allergic rash and his lips were huge. Oh, it was so, no. <laughs> it was so sweet. I just felt so bad for him. God. Old man Jack's our neighbor and he takes our trash from the restaurant for us every day, so uh, I'm sure he was still able to go and take yes, a trash. Yes, yes, he was well, really good. sweet about it. Well, here we have our finished product, and this is what dreams are made of right yes. here. All right, let's see if we can find us a taste tester for this. Good idea. Wow. That looks All right. Good. I would love yeah, it. Yeah, we got a fresh body right mm. here to try it. Wow, that does look good, doesn't it? It does it look so great. Good. That. Mm -mm. Right. Good. Oh, good. That's what we like to hear. Yep, that's that's great. Right. That's wonderful. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. That's our carrot cake for today down here at Marcy Joe's Meal House, where we're changing lives one bite at a time. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Joey. And I'm Rory, and welcome to our farm outside Nashville, Tennessee. When we go to work, whether it's on tour or here at home, we wear the West. That's right. Where it's that perfect snap shirt or that perfect pair of boots. When you wear Roper, you wear the West. Learn more about us, Joey and Rory, and about Roper Western wear at eroper.com. Do you miss? Well, everything was normal around the house, you know. Until Grandpa kicked the bucket about a year ago. Well, at first she moped around all dressed in black. Until she finally realized he wasn't coming back. Now she's a headed out to bingo. And Lord, it's just wrong. Cause Granny's got her Daisy Dukes on. Well, she pawned her wedding band the very first night. She got a spray on tan and a belly button ring. Got her bikini line waxed and her gray hair dyed. Yeah, and a tattoo on her back is said born to ride. The old farts are lining up down at the nursing home. Granny's got her Daisy Dukes on. The way she shakes that thing, Lord, it just ain't right. Look at those varicose veins are running through that say a lie. Well, she traded in her brandy panties for a leopard skin thong. Granny's got her Daisy Dukes on. Y'all want to hear some more about Granny? Well, she was married to the same man 47 years. That's a long time, honey. She never smoked a cigarette or took a taste of beer. Well, she raised the kids and she cooked and she swept the floor. Man, nobody ever thought she wanted anything more. Just like her bra, those days are gone. Granny's got her Daisy Dukes on. The way she shakes those things, Lord, it just ain't right. Look at those varicose veins are running through that say a lie. Traded in her granny panties for a leopard skin thong. That's just wrong. Granny's got her Daisy Dukes on. I can see her now on spring break. 
Daytona Beach on TV on Granny's Gone Wild. week this week it is the release of our brand new album his and hers and we just so happen to be backstage in our dressing room at the Grand Ole Opry where we just performed opening week of our record well in the process of bringing a new record out there's a lot to do there's a lot that we've already done we've done radio interviews they set us up to call radio stations or have radio stations call us and so we're both on different iPhones having conversations, and they ask lots of questions about our new album and the things we're doing and our TV show. And we're in Georgia now. Hello. Are you there, babe? I'm here, love. How are y'all? So it's really fun to get to share the things that uh, are happening in your life and in your career with them, but it takes a long time. You spend hours and hours doing that. We've done some neat meet and greets and autograph signings. At the Grand Ole Opry, they have a big store at the front and when people are coming in to see the Opry show, they go through the big gift shop, and so they had us come in and sign autographs and sign our brand new CDs for all the folks that are coming in and meeting them. One of our favorite radio stations in all of the United States is WSM 650. Good evening, I'm Eddie Stubbs. It's 804 right which now. Which is where the Grand Ole Opry was first broadcast, and they're still broadcasting it. And so we went in there, and we were on the air for about two hours last night with Eddie Stubbs. And he's a real famous DJ that has been around for a long time, and he's a real historian of country music. So he loves traditional country music, so I think he likes to see us when we come walking through the door. Joey and Rory have been in studio with us here tonight. We've also been doing some magazine reviews, so we have to call in and we interview with some of these editors, and they review the album and talk to us about certain songs and why we went this direction with this album. So that's been really neat to get to talk to these folks. And lastly, our favorite part about releasing this album has been playing the Grand Ole Opry. Which is where we are right now. We're backstage in the duo room, which I think on the door it says, It Takes Two. And so we're surrounded by all of our heroes who are duets. And so we have George Jones and Tammy Wynette, Porter Wagner and Dolly Parton, Conway Twitty, Loretta Lynn, John Johnny and June. June, and many, many others. And look who's sitting right underneath of them. Joey. And Rory. <laughs> One day, where are we going to put our picture? I think right there. Tonight was a special night on stage for a couple reasons. One is we have a brand new album coming out. And we get to tell everybody about it and sing a couple of new songs off the record. Another reason is our daughter Heidi sang with us on two of the songs. And lastly, for the very last song, Joey's good friend Sandy Lawrence, who wrote the song When I'm Gone. She's never been on the Opry stage before and she came tonight and she sang harmony with us and it was a great moment. I think just singing this song being the first time we performed it, but then how thrilled I was for Sandy to be here and get to share the spotlight and this moment with her and what it meant to her as well. And she just nailed it. She did a fantastic job. 
When you started singing When I'm Gone, it was like all the air left the room, and you could have heard a pin drop from all the way across, way up in the balcony, and I just found myself completely captivated. But I think tonight takes the cake. In in the week out, playing on the Grand Ole Opry stage, seeing people respond to the songs, having a record in their hands, signing those autographs. That's why we do what we do. We want to affect people with our music. If fame comes with that, that's okay. If money comes with it, that's okay too. <laughs> but it's not about that for us. It really is solely about the music and trying to affect people in a way through song. You're looking really nice tonight. Well, thank you. No, I mean really, really nice. Like maybe I could get a big kiss. Oh, there's our song for the evening. We're gonna leave you with this one last thought. Not planning our day around the TV set. Paying our bills and staying out of debt. That's important to me. That's important to me. Don't forget about what's most important to you. I'm Joey. And I'm Rory. Tune in again next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> now I can have a